The U.S.-Japan Joint Defense Guidelines drawn up during the summit between Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and U.S. President Barack Obama are sending ripples throughout East Asia. The South Korean government hopes to be consulted on future regional alliance security issues. Experts argue the U.S. is ignoring South Korea and American policies will lead to more regional military competition. Even before, there were many problems in East Asia due to China's rise and the U.S. rebalancing strategy, inter-Korean conflict and Korea-Japan conflict. But now, there's higher chance that these issues will lead to military threats and an arms race, rather than efforts to solve them peacefully. South Korea had hoped Abe would offer an apology for Japan's past wartime aggression during his U.S. visit. What Seoul got instead was the shock reward of a free pass from Obama for Japan's remilitarization. The closer military partnership between Japan and the U.S. has also caused a stir in China. As the U.S. is outmarching China, there's a high chance that China will strengthen its military buildup to close the gap, and a higher chance compared to the past that an arms race will begin in earnest in the overall Asia-Pacific region. Against the wishes of many in South Korea, the U.S. is pressing for the deployment of an advanced missile system, Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, or THAAD. Chinese experts suggest this too will trigger Beijing's response one that involves deployment of more missiles to compensate for the greater U.S. military presence in the region. U.S. officials have suggested the detailed implementation of the U.S.-Japan Joint Defense Guidelines still need to be developed. But what is clear is that the United States will use whatever means necessary to preserve its waning influence in the East Asia region, even if that means antagonizing both adversaries and allies. Frank Smith, Press TV, Seoul.